Right, hi everybody who's watching. I'm here with um, Dr. Peter Watkins and we're just having a little chat about the CELTA. Um, so Peter, can I firstly ask you, you've been teaching the CELTA for a long time. When did you first teach a course? Well, uh, that's a good question. I, the CELTA in one guise or another goes back a long, long way, I think to the early 60s. Um, but it I got involved before it was actually called CELTA, uh, when it was called the C. Tefler. And I started in, must have been about 1990, 1991. Right. And so I started teaching those when I was living and working in Italy. And then, you know, that became CELTA. I think it became known as CELTA in the mid 90s, probably 96 or so. So I was working on the courses at that time. Hmm. I think so, because I did, I did, as a student, did my CELTA in 98. I think it was fairly new, so I think in terms of the the name, but it's always been the same thing. Okay, um, and thinking about people taking the CELTA, is it something that you need a you need a degree, or do you need teaching experience to do, or or not really? No, uh, most students who do it, probably most people who come on the courses probably have done a degree. A de Degree, and some of them do have teaching experience, hmm. but um, a degree is not a necessary qualification for the course if you can use your personal statement or interview or so on to demonstrate that you actually have the skills and ability to thrive on the course. You don't actually yeah. need a degree certificate. And yeah. some people have teaching experience who come on the course, but no course assumes teaching experience. Hmm. You know, the centers assume no experience. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? And some of the, you know, I've only taught a few courses, I've taught five or six courses, but some of the people have loads of teaching experience in a different context, some have never taught before, and actually doesn't really matter too much. Um, so from your experience, what advice would you give somebody who's doing a CELTA? Uh, well, first bit of advice, if they're doing it full time, the first bit of advice would be clear your diary, I would think, you know, <laughs> because they are, most people who do a CELTA will tell you it's, it's quite full on. It is genuinely intensive. Yeah. Um, it's also, though, a very experiential sort of course. You know, you, you experience the techniques that you use with students in the classroom. Trainers generally demonstrate them to you. So I'd say a couple of bits of advice. First of all, you know, have an open mind to it. Um, listen to what trainers tell you but it's very much a collaborative cooperative thing and I think that's mm. really the value of the course to <clears> such an extent. be prepared to support other trainees on the course and be prepared to accept their support because the people who tell me you know they've really enjoyed the course are often the people who actually really throw themselves into it as a sort of collaborative communal yes. learning activity yeah no, that's good advice and I think I would add just as a, just to note that you'll be teaching from probably day two of the course, if not day one, and you have to be prepared to just throw yourself in and, and you will have lessons that will go well and lessons that will go less well. And that goes back to that whole people working together, supporting each other, learning from mistakes, getting better kind of thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so um, one of the reasons that we're talking is you, several years ago, you wrote, the the official basically Cambridge CELTA handbook. Um, how did that come about, first of all? Uh, well, I had written a book a few two or three years before that for Delta Publishing called Learning to Teach English. And that came about because I was getting a lot of trainees on my courses who were working quite hard, putting in a lot of reading before the course, but it wasn't always well directed. I didn't always feel the books address their immediate need um, and so I wanted to write something essentially for the sort of trainees I was teaching which was mm -hmm. uh, very basic and a very basic introduction so I'd written that and it had gone quite well and then Cambridge asked if I would uh, be interested in writing the CELTA course with Scott Thornbury so obviously it was a fantastic opportunity to work with yeah. Scott who is absolutely you know one of the world's leading experts on English yeah, language right. if not the leading expert so you know, it's a fantastic opportunity to work with him and a great experience, you know. So, um, yeah, that was that was how it happened. Mm. Yeah. So that's that, that that book is basically the the standard companion to the course, isn't it? There's two, isn't it? There's one for the trainer, which I have to say, my on my first couple of courses saved my life. <laughs> I don't know. If well, you... 
yeah, that was one of the things we wanted to do really was, you know, trainers have to learn a lot of new stuff when they mm. start doing the course. And there's quite a long training program, you know, a demanding training program for them to go through. And yet we felt maybe they were spending quite a lot of time reinventing the wheel in a way yeah. when actually if it was sort of, if there was a resource pack almost for them to use that they could then adapt and use with their own trainees, it would save them sort of inventing every session from scratch yeah. was, was really what we were aiming to do. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, there's the trainer's book and the, the trainee book. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, great, okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, LSI are obviously starting up as a center. So what's going to be the sort of, you know, the selling points of LSI? Why, what are the good things about the LSI course? So yeah, um, we, we are doing our first, first sales courses from January and um, that's quite an exciting thing. Uh, like me personally, as I was saying, I've taught sales courses elsewhere uh, for several years, but we've never actually brought it into the school. So that's gonna be really exciting to do. And I think the key selling points will be, we have for many years been a kind of teacher training center. We, we teach the Delta, which is actually the next one up. Uh, we teach teacher training courses. Um, and we are still currently the number one ranked school in the UK by the British Council. And that's based on teaching quality. So I'm really looking forward to passing on lots of things that, that we've, we've learned over the years about teaching and teacher training. Um, into and and also giving access to people to the resources um, and the students here as well. So that's going to be really exciting. Yeah, I, th I think that's a really good point. And I think, you know, in my experience, having a centre course within a school really helps that sort of sense of community and vibrancy amongst staff because actually. Um, other staff get involved in the CELTA course as well, don't they? Because trainees observe lessons and things like that. Yeah, and, and it does right. add to the whole community and richness of the place, I think. I think that's right. And I think you get a sense of what it's like to work in a language school if you've never done it before. As you say, during the course, you go to watch experienced teachers teach, so you get to know them. You get to see how real classes work, if you want to call it that. Um, you just get a sense of the environment of a language school. And there's always the possibility that you, you may be employed afterwards in that school. It happens quite frequently. Well, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. So for the people who come on the, the CELT course, what are the sort of career opportunities that they're looking at? So generally speaking, I mean, CELTA is the, is, is, is the entry-level qualification that you're going to need if you're teaching English as a foreign language. Whether that's in the UK or whether that's abroad, you know, I know that right now that may not seem um possible but it certainly will be i'm sure within 12 months um, wherever you go in the world the self is the qualification that people look for basically it's recognized everywhere i'm a director of studies at my school without a celta or there is another qualification that's a little bit similar to trinity without one of those two qualifications we don't even look at the tv because they are the, the requirements and they're the best uh, particularly the celta um, you can work in the UK, there are plenty of schools like us, um, and, and one of the benefits, I guess, if you do your CELTA course in a language school is that if you do well, you're already known by the trainers and the managers like myself. Um, I've, I've certainly employed people from courses I've done elsewhere in LSI. Um, but you can, you know, you can apply to schools all over the world, and that's the really exciting thing about once you've got CELTA. Yeah, it is a truly international qualification, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Um, and so if somebody decided that they were interested in this and want a bit more information about it or even sign up for the CELTA course, what would be the next steps that they would go through? Right. So firstly, get in touch with us through our website, um, just LSI Portsmouth. Um, and if you would like to have a, a chat about a little bit more about how the course works and what's required and dates in, on an informal basis. I'd be happy to talk to people. Just get in touch through the website and send us an email um, and we'll set up a Zoom chat. Um, following that, we will send you out a little pre-course task, which is just to get you thinking about grammar and vocabulary and pronunciation. It's not really a test, but it's just to give you a flavor of what's on the course. 
Um, once you've done that, we'll set up an interview. Um, and once you've passed the interview, then, then we're ready to go. So get in touch, even if you're just sort of thinking about it, um, you want to have a chat, you want to get a bit more information, um, or we can go from there. And uh, maybe you yourself might do a couple of guest, guest sessions on our Celsius. I would like that very much, yeah. That would be excellent. <laughs> right, Peter, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate it. Cheers, Lewis. Bye. Excellent.